Ok, 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 ok. The blue fish is around, and because there, I want to try many lures, like different profiles and presentations, to see if I'll catch them. Change blue fish. I have many lures in my bag. Let's get on the beach, put them in action, and one by one, I'll try to explain how I do work with each one. Hey, man, how doing? <laughs> That's my buddy, my fish partner. Let's take a walk, guys. I did start with the 3 ounce top water conventional popper. Always make eye contact with the plug. The retrieve speed is slow to moderate. Make forceful up sweeps to make splash that push a lot of water. The results? You will see it, the fish almost strike immediate. Oh, oh, primeiro arremesso. Primeiro arremesso. Primeiro peixe do dia. E maravilha. É isso aí. Very good. Very, very good. That's just amazing. That is my first cast of the day. Enjoy the action. I know, I know. This way, this way. This way, this way. Yes, yes. Beautiful, huh? So pretty. So pretty. Very pretty. Yep. É isso aí. Lindo exemplar. Ok, garoto. Bye bye. The second one, it's the six inch, two and a half ounces pencil talk popper. Always make a contact with the plug, slow retrieve, shake the rod to make the plug splash water all around, and bang, wait till the fish is dry. The rod is a pen preview surf 10 feet. The reel is a pen fierce 60,000. The main line is a 50 pound test brain. Okay, back to the water. Next, I use the 2 ounce silver metal spoon. Before I start the retrieve, let the lure sink to the bottom. The retrieve a moderate or fast, so keep contact with the jig to decide the right retrieval speed. You can make a few twists to the rod to add more action to the jig. The weather is really good. It's overcast, more or less 60 degrees. The water is clear, pretty much flat water and no winds.
Ok, now I use the 2 ounce silver metal spoon with red teaser. The way I work, it's pretty much the same of the 2 ounce metal spoon without the teaser. The retrieve speed is the key. Try to make the jig swimming without touch the bottle. Another good tip is the strike zone. Most of the time the fish strike right after the lure hit the water or when the lure is pretty close to the beach. Between those two points nothing happened. Let's try the 5 inch SP minnow yellow black. Right after the lure read the water, start a moderate retrieve with a pause, you know, trying to make the lure more realistic, couple turn and pause, turn and pause. The fishes are like schoolies in that day, you know, like 25 inch range, yes, I lost this one. Okay. In this time, you will see the fish strike the lure pretty much right after it hit the water, it's very good. I did very well with the 5 inch minnow yellow black, so in this time I used the 5 inch minnow blue white. You guys may don't see it, but in my left side has three young fishmen watch me catch a fish almost every cast and ask me many questions about how to catch a fish. Come on, I told them, I don't know much. Anyway, I did try to help them as maximum as possible, but I did see them catch any fish. So they asked me for one fish to bring home, yes, it's make me happy. It's a bite, okay? Alright, thank you, sir. No problem. For this last fish, I used the 2 ounce deadly dick jig. Right after the jig hit the water, put the rod tip down and start a moderate retrieve to make it swimming without touch the bottom. You can add a retrieve pause and a rod twist to make the jig action more realistic. So, my conclusion is, no matter which lure you use it, try to make it more realistic possible and the fish will strike it. Ok ok guys, that's what we have for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the action. If you like the video, if you enjoy it, please. 
give me a thumb up and don't forget subscribe my channel for more videos bye bye